What ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? So guys, John P. Claymore here, and this right is my second video of the night, and we're gonna talk a little bit about Lori Lightfoot, Chicago, and how Candace Owens made a pretty good point on Friday night to Tucker Carlson about what's going on there. I'm just gonna kind of expand on what she said a little bit, tell you a little bit maybe what I agree with and what I disagree with, but I just wanna kind of expand a little bit more on this. But before we get into this, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, make sure you like this video, make sure you share this video, also subscribe, hit the notification bell, sound off in the comment section, I wanna hear this, especially if you're from Chicago and you you want to comment on this right please do even if you disagree with me but let's go ahead and take a look at this as we all know mayor lori lightfoot of chicago i like to call her beetlejuice because that's what she kind of looks like is beetlejuice we all know this woman is completely incompetent and right now it looks to me like she's absolutely flipped i mean all the incidents the riots and everything has occurred everything has gotten worse in the city of chicago i mean it's quite frankly one of the most beautiful cities in the country and she's managed to screw this entire thing up but let's go ahead and start with this first clip from Candace the other night on Tucker Carlson. ...has been watching all of this. She understands that symbols do matter. She's the host of Candace. She joins us tonight with a reaction to all of this. Chicago, Candace, thanks so much for coming on, is really kind of a, a case study in what happens when you apply bad policy. That's absolutely right. And Lori Lightfoot, I mean, she's a disaster. And I think first and foremost, people take a glance at her. And the first thing you think is this is a woman who is an avowed racist. And you might look at that yeah. and say, well, that's obvious because she says she doesn't want to speak to any white reporters and only black reporters. But I think actually Lori Lightfoot is abundantly racist towards black Americans, right? So she pretends, don't pay attention to what she's saying, pay attention to what she's doing. She's pretending that she represents black people when she gets in front and says, I only want to speak to black journalists. But that's meant to be a distraction. Actually, look at her track record. Who is it that she's ha have her policies led to the mass homicide of? Black people. Black people are dying on the streets of Chicago. Black people are the people that are suffering when you know in the first quarter of this year, 34% homicide rate increase. It's black on black crime, and she has seen this through. The more important thing, though, when you showed a clip of her earlier and she started talking about, we need help, we need help. Do you recall, Tucker, a few months ago when I said to you that the entire defund the police movement, the entire purpose behind what the Democrats do, they don't do anything without purpose. They are always taking a part and parcel of a Machiavellian scheme. I said to you, Tucker, that they are going to start requesting on the streets to get bad enough until they say, we now need federal help. And at that moment, you're going to see them start talking about a federal police. They're going to want to see federal policing happening on the grounds of these inner cities. I believe that has been the long game the Democrats have been playing. This is why they have been undermining the local police at every second, because they are looking to give more power to the federal government. This is what is happening in Biden's America, and I believe that this is just really what we're seeing is just a, a, faster, a faster spread toward uh, America shifting towards a federalized police system in this country. To kind of piggyback on Candace's, what she's saying, Candace could be 100% right. They may be trying to federalize everything down there. They may be trying to send federal officers in there. But here's something else, too, that I've noticed. Chicago police officers right now are completely overworked, completely exhausted. And it's really strange that why would you want officers overworked? I mean, wouldn't that lead to bad judgment, bad things happening because the officer didn't have proper judgment because they weren't arrested? I mean, it's really quite Machiavellian and it's really quite psychotic. I mean, also something else too, every time I turn around, Lori Lightfoot is always trying to change the names of streets to honor black people. That's cool. That's good to go. But if you're doing policies that contradict what you're trying to do with African-American population in Chicago, like Candace said... What's the point? I mean, you're you're doing you're you're, you're creating policies that are actually harmful to the African American community, way more harmful. I mean, none of these policies help. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, it's almost like these are dead efforts. Do you see what I mean? Also, take a look at what happened with Juneteenth, for example. Now, me personally, I agree with Juneteenth. I agree it should be a holiday. I'm just not so sure that Juneteenth being a holiday at this point in time in a hyper polarized society is a great idea. I mean, you got Macy Gray out there saying. We should replace the American flag with the Juneteenth flag. Okay, that's just going a little too far. You got a city in Illinois right now who's saying, well, we're going to completely forego the 4th of July in favor of uh, Juneteenth. You see what I'm saying? It's like they're creating two separate realities here. Like they've got, we're going to do uh, one holiday on this day right here. You you know, one section of the country is going to celebrate Juneteenth. The other is going to separate, uh, is going to celebrate July the 4th. It's almost like they're creating two separate countries in the country. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. But let's go ahead and roll this last clip that Candace had. I'll take a cross the other night, and we're going to finish this video up. The police would get a lot of people killed. How could you not know that? 
of course they knew that. And, and you look around, you have to study history. And that's why I've said, you see them, they're calling themselves socialists. They're hitting the ground. They're demanding socialism. Well, let's actually take a look at what socialism has been around the year. Social I mean, has been around the world, pardon. Socialism has led to the death of 100 million people all across the world. When you look at communist socialist regimes of the past, this is what you see. The federal, the federal government needs more and more power, and they need to make sure that they take it away from local. Yeah, so they are taking this away from local. So the Democrats put this plan into place, and now it's speeding up. So she's she's not helpless. She's saying we need help from the federal government. We need help the federal government so that eventually people on the streets are going to say, please, anybody help us. And you're going to start That's to right. see real crimes from the federal government when they put their boots on the ground and start saying, OK, now we have complete and utter control. It is not chaos. From chaos, dictatorship arises. That is the lesson of human history. It's amazing. You make you, I'm, I'm completely sold. And Chris Ray, we're going to expand the FBI by, you know, three X. So they can keep order in Chicago. Candace also, Owens, Tucker, I need office time every day. <laughs> uh, every day? Tell me that 14 more this times. This is going to take a minute, but let me go ahead and sum this video up like this. Okay, so we know that the police officers are completely overworked. We know that Lori Lightfoot is extremely incompetent. I mean, we also know that she's probably the dumbest of all the actual mayors. But at the same time, though, we're like I said, we're seeing a divided nation. The nation's getting more and more and more divided. And here's what really bothers me, and this is where I want to end the video at. As you guys may know, the Biden DOJ, Merrick Garland, they have white supremacy at the top of the actual list of people to go after. Okay. I'm 36 years old. I've lived in North Carolina my entire life. I've been throughout the entire South, and I've yet to see one single white supremacist group. I mean, I'm not saying they don't exist, but I haven't seen the KKK. My father didn't see the KKK. I mean, family members I know didn't see any of these groups or any of these people around here. And it makes me wonder... Also, really quick, before before I get too far ahead of myself and actually lose myself in my train of thought, that also brings me back to what Biden said the other day. See, he wants people to report on other people saying, if you know anybody who's radicalized like family members or whatnot, please turn them in. That's the type of crap that Adolf Hitler had the Hitler youth do to turn in their family members who were against the Nazi government or were at least critical of the Nazi government. That's the type of crap they do in North Korea. But you see, here's the thing about that. You see... If you live in small town America, if you live outside of suburbia, rural areas, nobody's going to bother you. Nobody's going to turn you in, more than likely than not. However, in these blue areas, like, say, I don't like Connecticut, where that guy got turned in over him saying that, say, he said something suicidal. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that, have heard about that incident where um, the guy made something that was some of, a, some of a suicidal reference, and his wife called the cops, and they went over to his house, and he was just joking or whatnot, and Next thing you know, they get into a tussle. They try to take his guns away from him, and the guy gets killed in the process. I'm kind of wondering, is that the purpose behind federalizing everything? Turn in your neighbor so that way the cops, that way the federalized police agencies, the FBI show up and turn these people in? I'm just kind of curious about how that's going to happen. This is why I think people need to get the hell out of the cities, and I think Candace made a very good point. But uh, I'll digress for the rest of the night. Guys, we'll talk more about this issue in later videos as more and more work comes up. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be saving these videos. I've actually got the devices now to back up these videos, so I'm not going to be deleting them off of uh, YouTube or anything like that there. Just figure out to throw that out there. And once again, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this video. Hit the notification bell. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. I really want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. And one more thing, too. We're trying to make this channel grow. I want to get to 300 subscribers before the end of the month of uh, June. I know it's kind of lofty, so maybe I should say by mid-July. And once again, guys, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for viewing. I'll see you guys later. I did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did.